So I'm in Connect. Now, as the instructor, my screen may have slight differences from your screen, okay? But this is the only way that I can show you. And you're looking at your assignments. Now, now look at the category label, okay? Prepare for exam number one. It doesn't say that it is exam number one. It says prepare for exam number one. Now, scroll down. Exam number one. Here's exam number one, but you are not going to be able to get into that until it's time. And I'll give you more instructions closer to that time. But right now, you are preparing for exam number one by completing the homework assignments. And you do need to go through all of these. Now, you'll notice that next you'll prepare for exam number two. And you'll work through those assignments. And then you'll have exam number two. Okay, so it's very, uh, in my opinion, which I'll grant you, I set it up so I'm a little biased, but this is pretty clear. Prepare and then take the exam. Prepare and take the exam. At no time did I say that your homework was the exam. Your homework is preparing you for the exam. And that's always what homework does, is gives you a mastery of the content so that you prepare for the exam. Now let's talk about the learning assignment. Okay. Now again, my screen may look just a little bit different than yours. Let me uh, bring this down so that you can see the full thing in, in the window. But when you enter into the assignment and you click the name Learning Project 1, now where did I go for that? I went into the Dropbox in Pause. And um, you look at the Dropbox. Now, if you just immediately clicked to download the file, I can completely understand why you don't know what to do. Because you have to go into the assignment. In other words, click the Dropbox link and then click the name of the assignment, which is Learning Project 1, to read the assignment. Now, let me tell you what I think that is part of causing the confusion. First of all, you read the instructions. Here's for a pie graph with one variable. The purpose of this assignment, and it tells you about this. How do I prepare to begin? Before starting, watch this video to see the assignment instructions demonstrated. And you can click that link, and I'm going to do the entire assignment for you. Now, here begins the step-by-step. -step. You could print these step-by-steps and use them as a checklist as you watch the video, you then, I mean, you should be just thoroughly uh, prepared at that particular point, okay, in terms of how to do uh, this assignment. Now, then you can come down here to the second part, and there was a, some confusion about the A tab and the B tab. You're going to see that demonstrated in these videos, okay? So then I'm going to tell you the, the next step for that um, and, and exactly how, how to do each one of that. So throughout this, look at all these links to, to the videos. Now, if you're not having any problem and you can do it without watching the videos, that's great. But um, I think it sounds like there's some, some confusion, and that confusion can be overcome um, because I am, am not just telling you, I'm giving you a demonstration of how to do it, and you can print these instructions and use them as a checklist. Now, let me tell you what, what I think is going on, okay, and, and let's just kind of take it down a notch. When we get scared, it is difficult for us to read, and not just to read, to comprehend. Imagine that you are running away from a bear in the woods. If I grabbed hold of you at that moment and said, what is your name? I think you'd have a hard time telling me that, even though it's obviously something that you know quite well. As human beings, when we get in a state of fear and panic, we have a hard time processing. That's true for all of us, and I, I'm one of all of us, okay? So just deep breathing, deep breathing. It's going to be okay. Take some time. Go back to the assignment. Click on the links. Take some time. We're not talking about hours. We're talking about these are limited to like 10 minutes. I can't even go more than 10 minutes. And that's going to be 10 minutes well spent. You know, when you think about the time you've already invested trying to figure it out to no avail, this is going to be productive time, okay? If you don't even know how to submit something into the Dropbox, you can use that link. I think this is going to help you. So this is the learning project. And now, hopefully, you know, that picture is worth a thousand words. So now as you look at Connect, you understand the difference in these assignments. Hope that helps. Good luck.